Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Sun! Last time we made our way right outside of Coney Coney Town or City, whatever it is. However, I've already played the segment right here, but I forgot to hit record. So I had to reload a save file and... Well, I didn't save before the last episode, so I had to redo some stuff there. And on my way back, I actually caught a bunch of Pokemon inside the Lush Jungle, so we'll read those Pokedex entries in a second, but I need to show you guys something crazy that happened when I was back at the Volcano Park, and I was trying to catch a Kangaskhan while I was there. I kind of sort of found a Salandit, and if we go look at the summary right here, um, I kind of sort of found a Shiny! Okay, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me tweet about this like a week ago, because I'm recording this video a bit ahead of time. But, yeah, we got a shiny Salandit. One small problem, people let me know that male Salandits cannot evolve, so I can't actually evolve this guy, or Tommy for that matter. So I guess neither of those guys are going to be on the team. But hey, we got a shiny! Kind of bummed out that I didn't get to have my reactions to that on video, but stuff happens, I guess. Alright, well, let's just go into the city right here. There's not a whole lot to do here, but there are some clothes that I wanted to buy. There's a clothing shop here, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll, I'll customize my character just like I did during my first attempt at this recording. I can confirm I actually hit the record button. And I don't know if I ever actually mentioned this in a video, but I finally turned off my whole sleep mode thing, so that's no longer a problem. That issue, finally fixed. But uh, yeah, Delibird here, just kind of going around, handing things out to people, I guess. But after that, we get control. So there's a couple of little shops around here, a couple people to talk to. I'm gonna go ahead and explore the whole city again real quick, just to make sure there's nothing special I missed. But what we actually have to do is go inside this building right here. Or, actually this one. Oh right, this is definitely something I want to show. If we go all the way to the north, well first off, we got a beautiful view of the ocean and the horizon and all that. But if we talk to this girl right here... There's just a few Pikachus being cute and crud. Look at all these Pikachu, it's like a Pikachu splash! Maybe like, uh, Paper Mario Color Splash? I'm so tickled pink that I think I'll give you this Picanium Z! So if we get that, I guess if we use a Pikachu, we can use that crud. Although it's really Hal that's got the Pikachu. Why don't you come talk to me if you teach your Pokémon the move Volt Tackle? So if I get Volt Tackle, I guess we can do that. But also back here is an item. We got an Eviolite. Oh my gosh, I remember this. There's some really creepy crud here. So we just walk into this, these people's house, and back here they have a couple of daughters. We can go and sleep in their bed. What the crud is this, man? We just walk into some random people's house and we take a sleep in their daughter's bed. Yes, we are the, the ultimate creepsters, man. Yeah, I think that's just about all there is. I am going to go buy those new clothes again, and I'm going to also heal up real quick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This girl right here, she wants to trade her Poliwhirl for a Zubat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that trade because I can use a Water Stone on the Poliwhirl to get Poliwrath added to the Pokedex. And of course, Poliwrath is my favorite Pokemon of all time, so I would not complain about having them again. So let's go ahead and trade. Bum bum! We got Willy! Or... Whirly, not, not Willy. Though it can live on land, it prefers to stay in the water where it has fewer natural enemies. Oh, and over here is an Aether Foundation guy and he asks if we have a Rotom Dex and I believe he wants me to show him a certain Pokemon. Yes, he wants me to show him Pissimian. That is one of the three Pokemon I caught while I was in the Lush Jungle. So I'll show you guys those Pokedex, uh, Pokedex entries in a second. But let's go ahead and show them we got the data here. So that's it. There's this thing here that we couldn't figure out from the data of the foundation I collected. And we get, let's see, 5,000 Poké Dollars. Not bad. Okay, let's read some Pokédex entries and also evolve that Poliwhirl into a Poliwrath. So here is the Pissimian, or however you pronounce that. I think it's meant to be like a football player, or a rugby player, I guess. So it's like Pass-Imian. Uh, but it says... They form groups of roughly 20 individuals. Their mutual bond is remarkable. They will never let down a comrade. We also got this little guy right here, which is actually a fairy Pokemon. It attaches flowers to its highly nutritious vine. This revitalizes the flowers and they give off an aromatic scent. And the last one we got was a pincer. It grips its prey in its pincers and splits them apart. Although it is a powerful Pokemon, it can't deal with the cold. And now we've got a Poliwrath. Look at him, dude. He's so cool. My favorite Pokemon. Poliwrath and the Alola region are strong swimmers that use the breaststroke. Many children learn to swim by imitating Poliwrath. See that crud dude? He's awesome and he helps children. How can you not love him? By the way, some of my Pokemon levels and things like that might be slightly different because events might have played out a little bit different this time around. But let's go get the, uh, not a haircut. I'm gonna go get some new clothes here. I don't know, I kinda like the new getup that I designed using the options we can buy from here, but... I'll let you guys be the judge if it's a good idea, or if I should keep the uh, outfit I've got right now. And well, here it is! I know, I know it's a lot of orange, but I'm quite a fan of orange.
orange. And once you're kind of zoomed out, I feel like the black and orange theme actually kind of works. I'm, I'm a fan of Halloween colors. I think it looks awesome. I know I kind of look like how. I just want an excuse to wear lots of orange, okay? Anyways, let's go inside. Let's progress the story right here. So if we go inside, we get interrupted by Probo Pass, and he does not want us to pass playing some Gandalf action here or something. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to read this letter. Psycho, Olivia here. This is Probo Pass. Now, when I first read this, I was like, is Olivia talking to me or is Probo Pass talking to me? But Olivia is introducing Probo Pass to me. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life, past Memorial Hill, when you can. Yep, we've got to actually go chase her down somewhere else. Probo Pass leaves and he comes right back for some reason. I don't know what else he wants to give me. Pass? Uh, as long as you're not passing gas, uh, medicine, I guess we'll take some medicine. Oh, we get a max potion, right, okay. So we got that crud, and now we have to go to Memorial Hill, which is outside of Kony Kony City. Pretty easy to find, but I want to explore this building real quick, just in case I miss something. These jewels are amazing! They've got powers! Now I'll finally be able to get a boyfriend! Are you sure? Kahuna Olivia still doesn't have a boyfriend. Yep, Olivia is single. Confirmed. Well, here you can buy a bunch of stones. So if you want to get like a Flareon, a Jolteon, a Vaporeon, or a Leafeon, you can get that all right here. Unfortunately, no Ice Stone. We can't get a Glaceon, but I'm sure we'll find a way to get that later on. Oh, and more importantly, right over here, you can buy a Fossil. You can only buy one, though. And, well, I decided I'm going to be buying the Cover Fossil because Skull Fossil, Team Skull, Numb Skulls, I think I'm going to avoid that. So we're going to go with the uh, cover fossil right here. So there we go. I can't remember where the fossil excavation or fossil uncovering place is, but we'll find it eventually so we can get that one taken care of. So yeah, it's brought all the way from the Unova region. So that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get out of this place. I just went upstairs and this is my favorite room in the whole game. There's so much cuteness. Oh my gosh, there's also a Zygarde thing over here. We get the strange uh, creature sucked into the cube. We're about to get called, of course. Sina wants to talk to you. Of course she does. Blah, blah, blah. Bone of Chansey. There's so many Stuffle. They're so cute. It's one of those Stuffle toys that can move. Wait. It's not real. Oh my gosh, they're all fake. This is so creepy now. Well, I'm terrified. Let's get out of here. So Memorial Hill is... Whoop. I didn't mean to go in there quite yet, but it's just right down here, right connected to Route 9 there. So let's go ahead and hop off. Now this place is a little depressing. It's actually another cemetery. Let's talk to this girl. The mighty families of old Alola rest beneath these graves here. Maybe they wanted to stay close to the Tapu. When my own time comes, I hope I'll be put to rest in the same grave as my good Rockruff. I, mean, I don't I don't know if I want to be buried with the with the Pokemon, but okay. I guess it's very uh it just shows their companionship, that's all. We do have some battles to do here. This guy up here, for example, is a trainer. And I can't remember who I actually have up front, so we're gonna have to find out right here. We've got Gentleman Smith with just one Pokemon. Oh, it's an Umbreon, right. And I think I've got Pooplio up front, which should be able to take care of this thing. No, we got Refia. Um, okay, we'll, we'll just, we'll make it work. Umbreon's very defensive, though, so this might be a little tricky. I think I'm just gonna keep things simple and use Spark. That did a pretty good chunk. Unfortunately, they got me with Confuse Ray. Okay, Bug Bite's super effective, that's what I thought. Unfortunately, they confused me. And then I dropped, they dropped my attack twice, so now I, even though I'm super effective, I can't hit them that hard. But yeah, Bug is good against Dark, so let's go ahead and wreck them. This one should take them down here, and it does, alright. Level 30 on Refia, wow. By the way, um, I've decided that I'm gonna hold on to one of my, oh, I got Spinarak here just to, just to get some level ups on him to try to evolve him for the Pokedex, but, uh, I decided I'm gonna hold on to one of my rare candies, that way I can use that... Once we get to the place where we can evolve Refia, I'll just boom, drop it on them, and they'll evolve right away. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to one rare candy just for that situation there. But we got that guy defeated. Um, I think I want to swap someone else up front just to give them some screen time. How about we do Frank? Let's put Frank up front here. Uh, Grimgram as well, we'll probably get some more of him. Banjo's 25, so they could probably deal with some of these guys. And I also taught, I taught uh, Banjo Brick Break, so that's good as well. By the way, I kind of skipped past the dialogue, but this kid said that people are just, people here are just sleeping forever, right? Yeah, Preschool Liam doesn't really have a concept of death quite yet, but he does send out a Jigglypuff. That would have been great for Stuffle, actually. Actually, not so much. I, I forgot uh, Jigglypuff's part fairy now. If they were still pure normal, it would be great, but not so much anymore. I guess we're going to go for good old Rock Tomb here. And hopefully we can get some pretty good damage out of that one. Let's check it out. Okay, very good damage. One shot just like that. Grimgram level 29, and they want to learn knockoff. I think I'll get rid of Fling for that. Oh, and he's going to send out Ledian. That's going to be a bug flying type. I think we're going to go with... 
Uh, we'll just stay in. We'll just use another rock throw, and that should work out pretty well here. Or rock tomb? Yeah, rock tomb. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh-oh. Mock punch! Of course, they do have fighting moves sometimes, but that's not gonna do that much damage, even though it's super effective. And we got them taken down. All right. Frank is level 29 now. Oh, and he wants to learn stealth rock. I think I'm gonna keep my old move. Stealth rock is a fantastic move for competitive, but when you're fighting stuff in single player, they very rarely swap out, and stealth rocks do damage whenever they swap out, so it's not gonna be that useful. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. In his mind, that means he's about to die, because he thinks that dead people are just sleeping forever. Yeah, that's that's a little dark right there, but let's go grab a cleanse tag, and now let's uh, keep making our way through this maze here. Oh, apparently there's an adrenaline orb there. I have a habit of whenever I'm just running around, I'm always mashing A just in case there's a hidden item, so sometimes I randomly find things like that. There is a patch of grass here, and... There might be new stuff here, but today I just want to make progress. I want to try to do the grand trial today. Now, when I tried to record this episode the first time, I actually did not do the grand trial because it took me too long to get there. So I'm going a little bit faster this time and hopefully we can make that happen. This lady here has got a comfy, which is a fairy type. And Frank, not going to be great against fairy, but he'll do fine. So let's go ahead and battle. And we'll just use some rock tomb. And sorry I keep skipping past some of the NPC dialogue. I sometimes get carried away talking and forget to read it, so I'll try to read the stuff coming up here. So they're gonna go for a wrap with a very weird animation. That just looks so weird to me. So it's gonna hit me again, but as long as my rock tomb doesn't miss, we should be able to take this thing out with just one more attack here. And we got him! Okay, so Kofi is down, a really cute little fairy type right there. Is it ghost type after all? I'm also looking for something that's unexpected. I think she was saying, like, she's looking for a certain type around here or something like that. I'm not really sure. I kind of forgot that. But let's go down here, and I think there's an item somewhere over here. Yep, right over here, we've got a Dusk Ball. Oh, right! You can catch a Phantom here. I caught this last time as well, so let's go ahead and catch this crud. And one quick ball, we got him. These Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died in the forest. Their cries sound like eerie screams. Phantom is coming for you, little kid. Or actually, maybe the kid's spirit's coming for the Phantom. Now I'm confused. Anyways, ignore me. Well, let's keep going. We've got some trainer tips up there, but we're a pro trainer. I don't need any gosh dang tips. Are you kidding me? Oh, but yes, right over here. Punk girl sounds scary, doesn't it? Please be friendly and call me Punky. Uh, okay, Punky. There's actually a Super Mario 64 speedrunner that I watch called Punkation, but anyways, uh, right here, you would think she's from Team Skull. She's got the design of one of the Team Skull, uh, Team Skull grunts, but it's just Punk Girl Melissa. And she's got an Aria dose right here, which we're working towards our own Aria dose with the whole spin rack thing. So we'll see how we do against this crud. I guess I'm going to try to beat him with Frank. I could swap out and use like acrobatics. Uh, let's go for Rock Tomb. Maybe that'll work. Hey, it's super effective. I... I'm really bad at type matchups. Maybe it was part poison or something. I don't know, man. Anyways, you're the calm, cool, and collected type, aren't you? Well, that's true. Especially the cool type, definitely. I'm not super collected, but I am a collector. I collect lots of crud. I collect Pokemon cards and Sega Dreamcast games. Uh, oh yeah, there's some crud going down down there. But over here, we've got a Hyper Potion. And I think there's one more item still in the maze that we have to get as well. Let me see if I can track that down before we actually... Well, never mind, we've already moved on. So we've got some Team Aether Foundation and some Team Skull stuff right here. I don't I don't think the Aether Foundation is actually called the team. Anyways, Team Skull, give back that Pokemon. Low? Yes, dramatic close-ups of Slowpoke. Don't give me trouble, I'll reduce you to rubble! Dang, these guys are so tough. That's right, we're gonna sell this Pokemon to get rich and we wait. We won't make no bones about it. If we want it back, or if you want it back, you're gonna have to take it. Low! Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. That's what you say, Chief, but you don't lift a finger. Why, I am the Aether Foundation's last line of defense. What would become of the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Um, hi guys, I'm here to save the day. Ah, here is a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these Team Skull Ruffians. Or Roo, I don't know. Skull Ruffians? I already read that. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. My reading is 10 out of 10 today. But yeah, we gotta take on these guys. You ready? Cause I was born ready, yo! Dang. You're gonna wish you were born daddy. Uh, yeah. Let's go take these guys on. Um, I don't remember if this turns into a dual battle. No, I don't think it does. Alright, so we're challenged by Team Skull Grunt, and he's gonna be sending out probably 
Yeah, just some some weak crud. No offense to Radicate, but we're just gonna wreck this nerd. Let's go send out our Frank right here, and I guess we'll just smack him with some more Rock Tomb. Seems to be the the best move for the day, so we're just gonna keep doing that crud and see if it works for this guy as well. Of course, this guy is not a normal type anymore. He's now part dark as well. Actually, maybe he's pure dark. I can't remember, but he's gonna go for a bite. That's fine. One more Rock Tomb. As long as it doesn't miss, it can miss. And it does. That sucks. He's gonna go for Assurance, which I guess also misses or something. T come on. Okay, I thought I missed the second time for a second there. Here we go. We got him. Take that, you nerd. So there we go. And Banjo level 26. Very nice right there. Spinarak is up to level 19. Not that that really matters. Uh, no, I'm not gonna bother learning any moves for Spinarak. I'm just keeping him in the team until he evolves, and then we're getting rid of him. Yo, 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 you're no joke. Uh, I guess I'm a bit of a jokester, but... Uh, oh, yeah. My jokes, they're not on point today, guys. That loss was pathetic. That loss was pathetic. Your moves were so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyways. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. Yo. Yeah, get out of here, you losers. I still want to go back and see if I missed an item. I got to figure that crud out. Low. Thanks, kid. No problem, dude. Yes, indeed. You are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I am deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly arousing. Or astounding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to Hano Grand Resort, and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Sounds good. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so glad there are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Well, thank you so much. Of course, we do have to go do the grand trial, but let me go look. I knew it! There's an item right here. We find a spell tag. Okay, well, on we go then. So here we are at the Ikala outskirts. Now, there was the Zygarde thing back there, so we could grab that. But I want to go over here because we can find a TM. TM28 with Leech Life! And that is a very strong bug move in this game. 80 power on that guy. But right over here, we've got some bubbling spot stuff. So let's go ahead and fish. See if we can get anything fancy. And we get a pearl! Okay! Last time I got a Magikarp when I tried to fish there. Is this guy a trainer? Uh, it looks like he is. I'm gonna put my Charger Bug up front. I fish when I think I can catch something. I battle when I think I can win. Bro, if you think you can win, you got another thing coming, dude! Honestly, against a lot of these trainers, their Pokemon are so weak that I'd have to try pretty hard to lose. I mean, I know, guys. I know I make a lot of bad decisions a lot of the time. But for a random trainer like this, I'd have to mess up really bad to actually lose. Sure, I might like have a Pokemon faint or take more damage than I need to, things like that. But to actually get sent back to the Pokemon Center, man, I'd have to try really hard to do that. I don't think I could even do it unless I specifically go out of my way to make it happen. Because they, they, they take a lot of swings to take me down here. But out comes Gyarados. Not that scary. Of course it's a Gyarados, but he's gonna be four time weak to my electric attack, so we're just gonna one-shot him. Even though he had dropped my attack with Intimidate right there, I still think we'll one-shot him. He goes for a Leer, so he's not even gonna do any damage to me. And I'm, I, I pretty much guarantee this a one-shot. And it does! Would have been nice if I could have just won by thinking I could win. Yeah. Sometimes I like to think that I'm actually really good at tight matchups, but it never seems to work. I've even, like, gone and researched stuff. I need to, like, use... Have any of you used, like, flashcards for studying things? I should go and do, like, a hardcore crash course and use flashcards and crud to study type matchups, because I've looked at the charts, I've tried to learn them so I don't seem like an idiot the whole time. It never works, man. But we always seem to come out on top somehow, so I guess it's okay. Right here we've got Harry Mama from this guy, but I've got my Refia with acrobatics, so I guess we'll just wreck him. Level 31 on Refia. All right, and they want to learn x -Scissor. We are definitely going to be learning that, and I guess I'll get rid of Bug Bite, because they're both physical attacks, they're both bug, but x -Scissor does more damage, so it's kind of just the better move, pretty much. Frank level 30 as well, heck yeah. Spin rack level 20, don't really care about that too much. You played that battle well, GG for short. GG WP. I believe there's a hidden item. Oh, wait, there's a Zygarde cell right down here, of course, but I think that little little uh, outcropping right here has a hidden item. No, I guess not. Whipping out the stat line because I swear there's an item here. Uh, where are you? There you are. Okay, we get a big mushroom. Yeah, let's go up this way. I already know what's about to happen, but well, on we go. And yes, we get interrupted by a lady right here. So you're the one Gladion was talking about. You can see she's got a Team Skull logo. Hmm, you don't look like anything special to me. Oh, I am very special. 
Uh, my mom told me so. Yes, here we have Plumeria. I'm pretty sure this is the first time she's introduced in this in the game here, but I actually kind of got spoiled on her because she's a part of the demo, so I've already seen her. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numbskulls. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Yeah, and she basically wants to kill me now. But I, I, I'm glad she agrees that the other Team Skull grunts are kind of numbskulls, dude. But here we go. We've got a battle against Team Skull admin Plumeria. And even though she's only, uh, even though she's an admin, she still only has two Pokemon. Out comes Golbat. One small problem, my uh, Refia right here kind of took some damage from that random encounter. I ran into a Wingle, couldn't escape, and then it got a critical hit on me, so I'm kind of low. But I'm going to try to take this guy down with the Spark. Unfortunately, he does go first, and that might wreck me. And we survive with 3 HP. I'm probably going to have to use a Hyper Potion to survive, but we at least take down this Golbat. I think I'll just swap out for safety. Let's see what she has uh, coming out here. Okay, it's Salanted. So we're just going to swap out, go right over to Puplio, or I guess Frank could work as well, but we'll use Puplio here. And we'll just use like Water Pledge, probably one shot that as well. What a loser, man. Your Salanted's not even a shiny. They are going to use Poison Gas, but I'm just going to use Water Pledge, and I'm pretty sure they're going to get one shot right here. And also, I could be wrong about this, but I think Poison no longer hurts you outside of battle. I think it only hurts you inside battle. If it does, that's pretty convenient, I guess. We got level 32 on Puplio. Very nice. And we've taken down Team Skull Admin Plumeria. Heck yeah! Fooey! Banjo Kazooie Fooey Tooie, man. Okay, well, that one is over. Get the quit out my grill, bro. I gotta go and do a grand trial. Hmm, you're pretty strong, I'll give you that. But mess with anyone in Team Skull again, and I'll kill you. Or, I'll show you how serious I can get. All right, then. She's not the most intimidating. Sure, she's got, like, the skulls on her head, but I'm not scared of her. But you know what, guys? I ended here last time I recorded this, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end here again. Not the longest episode in the world, but it still feels like some pretty good progress. We did Kony Kony City. We did gosh dang uh, Memorial Hill here. So I'll see you guys next time for the Grand Trial. Take care.